the official operating system for the Raspberry Pi called Raspberry Pi OS. It's based on Debian Linux, and you can download a version for PC and Mac. That's the version we'll use. Download the Raspberry Pi desktop operating system and take note of where the ISO image is located on your computer. It'll probably be in your downloads folder. I feel we got so far in the game now. Everything's on fire now. So make it come again. We're crashing like a plane. And they say no rainbow with no rain. No rainbow with no rain. No rainbow with no rain. No First step is to create the virtual computer that we're going to install the operating system into. Start VirtualBox and click New. We need to give a name to the virtual machine. This is just a label that VirtualBox uses to identify the machine, so you can call it anything. We're going with the straightforward name of Raspberry Pi. The hardware page lets us set the RAM and number of CPU cores we're devoting to this virtual machine. The Virtual Hard Disk page lets you select the size of the hard drive in our virtual machine. This will replicate the SD card that the Raspberry Pi uses for storage. You'll see a new entry in the VirtualBox application with the name you've just chosen. In our case, it was Raspberry Pi. We're going to fine-tune some settings in our machine. Select your new virtual machine and click the Settings icon. Select Display in the sidebar and drag the video memory slider all the way to the right. This gives the virtual machine more RAM to use for its virtual graphics card. Choose the ISO file you downloaded. Now we can launch our virtual machine by clicking the green arrow icon. Select Install from the menu and hit Enter. Select your keyboard from the list and hit enter.
On the partitioning disk's screen, select Guided, Use Entire Disk and hit Enter. We've only got one hard drive in this virtual machine. We're warned it will be wiped of all data. That's fine. There's nothing on this brand new virtual drive. Hit Enter to move on. You're asked for a partitioning scheme. Make sure all files in one partition, recommended for new users, is selected and hit Enter. You'll see a summary of the partitioning choices you've made. Hit Enter to proceed. The screen changes to allow you to option out. No is selected by default. Highlight Yes and hit Enter. Presently, you'll see a screen telling you that the installer assumes you want to install the GRUB bootloader to the primary drive of this virtual machine. It's the only drive we've got, so you can hit Enter to accept that location. On the next screen, select Dev SDA out of VBox hard risk and hit Enter. That tells the installer to use the first partition on the hard drive as the location for the bootloader. A progress bar will slowly creep along as the installation takes place. Eventually, you'll see the Finish the Installation page. Make sure Continue is highlighted and hit Enter. As your virtual machine is booting, you'll see the usual boot screens just as if you were booting a physical Raspberry Pi. The first screen you'll see is the Grub menu. You can either hit Enter or wait for the menu to time out. This usually takes about 10 seconds. The first time you boot your virtual machine, you'll have to provide some information to finalize configuring your virtual Pi. Click the Next button when you see the first setup screen. On the Set Country screen, use the drop-down menus to select your country, language, and time zone settings. On the Create User screen, enter the name of your user and create a password for them. The Update Software screen checks your current install against the software repositories to make sure it is up to date. This takes a little while. Clicking the Next button performs the update checks. Click the OK button when the updates have completed. Click the Restart button to apply the changes. When your virtual Raspberry Pi boots, it'll log your user in and boot straight into the LXDE desktop. 
but you'll probably see that your desktop is a small rectangle in the middle of your screen with a resolution of 800-600. Setting a more realistic resolution is easy. Click the Raspberry icon in the top left corner. From the menus, select Preferences, then go to Screen Configuration. The Screen Layout Editor application will open on your desktop. Right-click on the gray square labeled Virtual 1. From the menu, select Resolution, and then the resolution you'd like to use. That's it. You're ready to experiment and explore in your virtual Raspberry Pi.